Hey all, uh, welcome to my first iPhone SDK tutorial. Um, this basic tutorial is just going to show you how to, uh, you know, create your view, uh, add a button, and when you click the buttons, it's uh, there's going to be two buttons on our view. Uh, first button is going to telephone that person. The second button is going to SMS it, so you can kind of create your own uh, personal phone book. Uh, let's say keeping your close contacts close, or a little little customized and feel to your to your own phone, giving it you know, your own user interface. Um, so yeah, basically I'm just going to jump in, create a new app, uh, view-based application. I'm just going to name it uh, B2F Homebook because those are probably the people that I called most. Uh, and here we go, we have a project file. So yay, projects. Uh, we have our classes, we have our resources. Nothing too big here. Uh, all we really want to do is just add a couple lines of clothing. Um, so we need to add some actions. Basically, uh, an action is something that the user, uh, iPhone user, uh, would do. A example, pressing a button is an action. So what I'm doing here is I'm saying uh, this action is going to be called uh, call Blaine. And this second action is going to be called SMS Blaine. Uh, and we need to do these ID senders because those are permissions and who it belongs to and whatnot. Anyways, we can build this. We can see we failed uh, because I haven't properly code signed it to my device yet. That's okay. That only takes a couple seconds. Uh, so since we have those two in there, uh, we can actually go to our interface, which actually is what we see physically on the screen. Uh, and we can go about kind of, you know, sprucing it up a bit. So, you know, I'll add this kind of type of view like this. Uh, I'll add a navigation bar at the top, but I don't want that. Uh, let's say I want a custom background, give it a good kind of look. Top bar I want to be black. And let's just move this here and make it this big. Okay, so now we're going to do this in Blaine. And we'll say Blaine. Now, obviously, white text on white background. You're not going to be able to read, so let's give the black text. Okay, and let's add those two buttons that we created in Xcode. Uh, for the call blame and SMS. Okay, so we have those buttons now. Uh, we can give a label up here too. And we can say back to front phone book. Because that's specifically the contacts that I have on there. So we can kind of do that once. And we can see how we can just copy and paste it. And just paste it down. And then we can you know, change the name. Obviously, you can do the spacing uh, you want yourself. Uh, however, let's go like this, and we'll tag those buttons. Uh, oops. So just show you what I did first. I right-clicked Files Owner, uh, Call Blaine. Just grab that, went to Call. And it's going to be when the user touches up inside this button, uh, that action will be called. Same with the SMS. We'll tag up uh, SMS, and we'll touch up inside. Now, obviously, I didn't create all the tags yet for uh, Jamie, Mickey, and Anthony, uh, but that's pretty simple if you just actually, I'll save this first. We went in Interface Builder and copied and pasted this uh, four times over and changed Blaine to Jamie, you no know, Anthony, etc. Uh, that would make it work. Uh, Anywho, moving on, uh, we can pretty much copy that line of coding. Um, this is where it kind of gets tricky. Make sure we got some proper spacing because we like everything to look pretty. And let's go like this. And we're going to call in. Now we've got this action. Uh, we have our squirrely brackets. Squirrely brackets because we want it to do something uh, when that button is pressed. We're going to say UI application. I'm going to say shared application. Uh, and then we're going to say open URL. Uh, and we're going to say NS URL. And we're going to say URL with string at, and we're going to say telephone number, and then here you can do whatever, 905 555 0420, my favorite numbers that I like to call, just kidding. Um, and yeah, that'll go about doing the call plain action. Um, now, if we kind of copy this, 
and paste it below, um, you can just change the telephone to SMS, and that'll go back to doing the SMS action. Now, if we go about changing this to our simulator, uh, and go build, we can see that it's complete. Build succeeding, uh, and then we'll see it go about being installed because the installer is already in use. We'll wait for this to open. Yeah, presto, and obviously call SMS don't work. Um, however, as soon as I show you right now on my actual physical screen, uh, photo booth, you'll see that once I send this app over to my actual device, you'll see that the application works just fine. Hey guys, so as you can see, so sweet, let's uh, just give me a minute here, close this, and we'll open this. Okay, so now we're actually going about uh, building this and debugging this to my actual iPhone uh, that I have in my hands plugged in. Uh, so while this builds and kind of waits to be installed, um, we'll just wait. Yeah, sometimes it does take a while to get over to the iPhone. Okay, so as you can see, it's kind of flipped here. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I'll still kind of grab myself over to here. I'll press call in. See as it's automatically gone about calling, and vice versa. If we go back to the app uh, and SMS, you can see it jumps to our SMS for a new message right away. Cool. So that's uh, it for tutorial number one. Uh, stay back for uh, check back for future ones. Uh, probably me doing some table view controllers, teaching people tab view controllers, uh, custom table view cells, uh, streaming movie video player frame kits, uh, and the iAds network. Um, yeah, I guess more after the break.